the guy above me always plays his music so loud. I think he doesn't realize there are other people in the building, especially ones that live directly below him. Hey Brittany, I am making you a video response, but I do have a lot of homework to do and I told myself that I can only make your video after I finish doing my science homework, so probably by the next time you see me, my hair will be dry. My hair is indeed on its way drying. Um, I just finished my science, thank god. I spent forever playing children's games on split brain experiments trying to figure out what the fuck was it was talking about. I like to-do lists. And so I made this to-do list and this remember list. Um, my to-do list, two of the things are checked off, even though this top one is really only like halfway finished. And then this, I just need to do some revising. And this isn't even, I don't even really need to think about it. I just put that on there. The remember list is all things like your classes are expensive and you ditched class today so you need to actually get your homework done because that's what you ditched for to actually work so you need to really do it and then it says that um, I'm not allowed to use YouTube and Facebook and um, I need to actually do work which I did do some work but I'm still using YouTube and Facebook. The good news about living in London is if you're gonna go like over to England for a concert or something like that you're probably gonna go in London so if you got enough UK nerd fighters to be like come to the UK the first thought is probably gonna be London and all I'm saying is you know you never know they they might come there if there's enough fans in London that they would actually have like a moderate gathering because if he would come to San Francisco then you know why not over there um, he's been to he's going on tour right now and if you're not soon like this go around, he might go there next time. Um, Lauren O'Connell went to London to do free shows. Um, she got deported, but she did go and she managed to get in one show before getting kicked out of the country for having suspicious things like a box of Lucky Charms. London, I feel like for being a fan of things in America, being in London is probably like one of the best places to be because if people are gonna go, you know, through countries, they're probably gonna hit up London at one point. Maybe I'm having hopeless optimism, but you know, it'd be worth a try, cause you never know, they might come to London. They might. You should just make him a video, Hank or John, and be like, I live in London and I think the UK nerd fighters need to be represented by you being in the UK. The plane airport thing, yeah, it was pretty painful, but at least I had like the captain's log that I was making throughout the entire thing to keep me sane and to be like, well, I have to be here for another four hours, but that's another four hours to add to the captain's log. And I feel like every hour added to it made it like a more impressive thing because, you know, at first it was like, la 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 la, and then in the end it was like, hour 12. But, um, Oh, on the, um, on the grounds of admitting I stole jokes, I kind of stole the captain's log from my friend Katie also. Not, like, mine was far more intense, but she posted a Facebook status a while ago, which actually was so awesome, I'm gonna go look it up. Okay, got it. Captain's log, hour four in the library. Our numbers have dwindled alongside our attention spans. Battle broke out over the primo cubby next to the power outlet. Good men were lost in this battle, but victory was upon us. With a calculus midterm daunting before us tomorrow, efforts have been doubled in studying. However, there seems to be no end in sight. Needless to say, you know, yeah, that whole idea was kind of ripped, but I, I couldn't just not make one, so I just like, yoink. She also had a recent status update which says um, the only reason she likes her chemistry class is because they call lab days, they call it like potions or something. She has all kinds of amazing ideas. She set up, um, she sent us all out this massive text that basically says that over Christmas break we're going to have a game of Mario Kart, but it's not just any game of Mario Kart, it's time to live the dream, and all of us are supposed to pick um, a character, design a costume, make weapons like shells and banana peels, and create a vehicle. Um, I'm not sure yet if they're allowed to be motorized or not, but uh, it's gonna be pretty awesome. I'm Luigi, so you guys look for updates on that, because if that actually goes down, I'm definitely videotaping that and putting it on YouTube. 
and um, I'll do like a little prep video of me as Luigi ahead of time. Let's go, Mario! Needless to say, she's a pretty incredible human being. Now I feel really bad for stealing all these jokes. I can make up my own jokes. Why am I stealing them? When you when you said that thing about the bowl of Quirios and you like um, having to wait for the videos, like that made me realize, I wonder if I should post my video on that channel like on Friday in America because then wouldn't that be on Saturday over in the UK? Like I'm kind of confused how it's gonna work with time changes because I'm not from where everyone else is from. Um, I'll have to find that out, I guess. Let me know this week if my video comes out late instead of on time uh, so I know when to post it. I would say your eyes are blue. Um, a lot of people don't know what color my eyes are. I think from a distance they look brown. If you get up really close to them, I don't know if you can really see them. The lighting is kind of bad in here. Maybe if I shine my flashlight, not flashlight, maybe if I shine my cell phone on my eye. Um, they're actually green. My eyes are green, like a brownish green color. Um, but sometimes they look blue. It depends on lighting and what I'm wearing, usually. Um, now you know, I always say that they're green because I think they're green most of the time. I'm really excited that your sister asked if I was a nerd fighter also. I, I like that to, you know, shine through like, I am a nerd fighter. Uh, I am a nerd fighter. My hair looks really ridiculous when I flip it because it's like curly and bouncy. Um, anyways, your sister, she looks like a little ball of fun, that Megan. Um, a little young to be considering herself the more attractive sister though. How old is she? Just curious. I always wonder about people's siblings. I have three siblings. One is turning 21 in February, one is 15, and one is 12. Um, you might see them sometime. Maybe. Anyways, sorry if there's not much in this video to respond to. Just, you know, send it back.